about Jamaica, baby. They made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators. Fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again. Magdalene Sofit bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. It's another day, another dollar video. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to react to the situation that happened on the train the other day. Um, this is one of the craziest videos I've seen in a long time. And it's, it's just funny to me that lately the train's just been crazy, bro. Like the trains have always been bad. Not to the level that I have been seeing recently. There's been multiple people being shot on the trains, right? And it's hilarious the fact that the governor just had all these National Guard troops, all these police on the trains, and shit got worse after the fact. So the situation happened between some black guy and a Spanish guy on the train. The black guy seemed like he was the aggressor. He ended up getting stabbed and shot with his own gun. And I've been seeing a lot of people saying that the girlfriend of the Spanish dude escalated the situation, but I disagree with that. You know, the guy, the black guy was aggressive from the beginning. He was being racist. You know what I'm saying? Like he had all this extra energy. And to me, honestly, Shorty did what she was supposed to do. She held her man down. And he had an illegal gun on him. You get what I'm saying? So who's to say even if the fight would have stopped and she didn't stab him, that he wouldn't have pulled out the gun eventually? I feel like he was being super aggressive because he knows he had the gun on him. You get what I'm saying? So this whole situation was wild. Um, it, it seems like he thought the guy was a migrant because he was talking about, oh, your people want to throw things at the cops, referring to the situation that happened at the Randall's Island migrant shelter where I used to work at as a security guard, bro. I, I got to make a video on that. It's crazy. But yeah, like he thought he was a migrant and you clearly hear her say, oh, he thinks you a migrant. He thinks you an immigrant. Like they, they were just Sp regular Spanish people from the city. Like they weren't no migrants or nothing. But he was being racist. You know, he got stabbed. Shorty stabbed him while she, he was on top of her boyfriend. He pulled out a gun. And he got shot with his own gun, which that, this is multiple L's he took in this whole situation, right? I also seen reports where people were saying that from the beginning, soon as the Spanish guy got on the train station, the black guy was being aggressive. He started the whole shit. Also, they said that he had a, a knife, too. But we didn't catch that from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So I wish we would have been able to caught the whole thing from the beginning because then it'll, it'll, it'll give the situation more context. So apparently the black guy had pulled out a knife first. So I'm not mad at Shorty for stabbing the dude, bro. She held her man down. Ain't gonna lie. She looking kind of thick too, man. You need some bail money or something? Holla at your boy. But yeah, let's check this video out. Hit him with the classic SMD. I'll beat you up. Just so y'all know, the guy's still alive, though. The one that got shot in the head, he's in critical condition. The police released a video of him fair hopping, too. It's like, yo, bro, if you carrying a gun, why is you fair hopping? That shit is wild. And it just feels like, yo, bro, he knows he has a gun on him, so he's extra tough. Granted, he got way more size on the Spanish dude. Like, he's way bigger. Pause. So it's like, you know, you would think he would win a fair one. But it's like, you being extra tough because you know you got a gun. So if anything, worst case scenario, if Poppy had a knife, you was, you was going to pull the gun out. You get what I'm saying? And this is why I feel like it's best for anybody that takes the train and the subway to avoid conflict as much as possible. Because nowadays, bro... You get in a physical situation. If I get in a physical situation, bro, I'm trying to like put you to sleep right away. I'm not taking no chances. You can have a gun or a knife. Nah, bro. I'm going for the, the knockout ASAP. Get what I'm saying? So that's why I try to avoid shit because I know how far I'm going to take it, bro. Any small confrontation could lead to somebody dying, bro. It's not like back in the days. Back in the days, shit like this happened too, but it just seems like it's more escalated nowadays. Fuck you. 
<clears throat> you say you let your girl defend you. And she did defend him. That's why she poked your ass up. I ain't gonna hold you. The chick that took the video in the beginning, man, she was a W camera camera lady, but at the end when she started screaming, she was getting me tight. <laughs> but she caught, like, you know, a lot of the... She caught the good parts. Well, we ain't see the shooting, but hey. I ain't gonna lie, shorty is thick, bro. Look at the thighs, bro. Damn, son, lucky. Got a rider. Hey, we all need a chick like her, bro. I don't know about us all. I need a joint like that. Hold me down. He said, oh, I just did 13 years in jail. <laughs> so he just came out of jail, did 13 years. You already got a gun, an illegal gun. And you on the train trying to act super gangster for what? You get what I'm saying? Like, you started shit, and look how it ended up for you, boy. My son got tired of the talking. He was talking too much shit. And it seemed like he was letting dude talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just letting him talk his shit. And after a while, it's like, you know, you might try to avoid a situation, but when somebody just keeps talking, then it's like, yo, all right, what's up? Like, move, baby gun. 13 years in jail for you to get poked and shot with your own gun. It, it just seems like homie was bored that day, bro. You get what I'm saying? He was just bored that day. He was like, yo, fuck it, bro. I'm just mad at the world and I feel like taking it out on anybody type shit. Like, what you trying to do? Your man, if my man getting down and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that type of time too, bro. I already learned my lesson. I'm going to let dudes try to swing first and then that shit is over. Because I feel like if I swing first, it's like I'm the one that's in the wrong. So, you know, I done swung first a couple times before, like back in the day. But now I'm on some like. Go ahead. You you put your hands first. You try to swing on me first, and then I'm a violate type shit. Oh, they did us dirty. No world story ain't gonna have this shit uncensored. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. She poked him like twice, right? Damn, she thick. Oh, she held her man down, so. Anybody that thinks she's the one that escalated the situation, no, bro. He escalated the situation from the beginning. He was the aggressor. Dude was minding his business, and he went up to the dude, and that's, that's from the reports. The witness is saying that. He was aggressive with the dude for no reason, being racist, and if you're going to get in a fight, you got to be prepared for any situation to go down. That's why it's best to not get in a fight in the first place. All right? That's why it's best to avoid shit because people got knives, people got guns, people got mace. You don't know what people got on them. So, shit happened and he found out. Yeah, she stabbed you. Yeah, he stabbed you. Now you got this chick talking about get him off him. Like, shorty, bro. We mind our business over here in New York. If it's not like an old lady that's like, helpless, being harassed or some shit, because, you know, if I see some shit like that, then I might interfere. You know what I'm saying? Or it's a sicko trying to rape a chick or some shit like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but fights? Nah, my man stopped the fight in the morning time and the police ended up arresting him. And the guys was drunk, like a Mexican dude or some other dude, and the guy was drunk. The Mexican dude said that my boy was in the fight. So now nah, it's best to just avoid, like, nah, we ain't getting involved. If it's an old lady or some shit like that, then I'll get involved. 
I'm behind you, bro. Come on. That Get him on. Don't touch me. What the fuck is you touching me for? Dude, you ain't knocking shit out, boy. You could tell he's like tired already, he's losing blood. I hear what he said though, like she interfering with a man situation, but look, bro. She held her man down, bro. Like, that's honorable in my eye. You get what I'm saying? Like, and I heard he had a knife. He displayed a sharp object before this shit was caught on camera. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what the reports are saying. If those reports are true. So, at this point, they, they in survival mode, bro. You know what I'm saying? You big, you aggressive. You being racist. Like, she was like not going to let her man get hurt. And I'm not mad at her, bro. And he has a gun on him already. Illegal gun on him. So what you what y'all thought? Y'all didn't think he was gonna grab that shit eventually, bro? Like, let's be real, bro. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> I ain't do nothing. That's just funny. <laughs> you know what you did, Shorty. It's in 4K. She the type, but she cheat on you and she get caught. I ain't do nothing. He cocked He pulled the gun Cocked it out I feel like bro Wasn't really trying to shoot them though He just like Wanted to prove He was gangster By pulling the Cause yo bro If you really Wanted to do something You could have shot From where you was at You get what I'm saying Unless he wanted to shoot Shorty And not the dude Cause Shorty is the one That stabbed him But Why are you giving up Your distance advantage You feel me You could have just Boomed from where you was at I wonder what kind of gun that shit is. It's like a 22 or some shit. And that's <laughs> that's where the shit gets cut off at, man. I think if this camera's on the train, they probably got the rest of the footage, bro. I want to see that shit. Like how he got this arm. I think he was already weak from the blood and being stabbed. Son is gonna be a legend in New York, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey! And this is for anybody saying there's no self-defense. The police let him go. He's not being charged. So he's Gucci. Shorty might be in trouble, though, for stabbing. You know what I'm saying? But they might let... I don't know. They might let her go, too. Saying self-defense. She was af afraid for her life. You know what I'm saying? Again, dude had a knife in the beginning. We don't see it because they ain't record from that part. But I don't know. She might be able to walk. They might question her, but I don't know. Yeah, she stabbed you, bro. Yeah, the camera lady's so annoying. Look, let me out. Let me out. All these poor people, man, they getting off of work, going home, tired, dealing with bullshit, and then they got to get on the train deal with more bullshit. Let me out. Who's going to let you out, bitch? The conductor is in another freaking car. He can't hear you. Let me out! Let me out! One. Two. Three. Four. All right, man. It's another day in Gotham City, bro. The chronicles of motherfucking the MTA, bro. I feel like the MTA is a whole nother world down there. It's a whole nother city down there. You got nothing but freaking crackheads, homeless people, mental health people. It's just so bad on these trains, man. That's why I got to give me a whip soon, man. I got a driver's license and everything. I just need a whip, bro, because I hate taking the train. Dudes just want to go to work and go home, and you got to deal with assholes and shit. But yeah, man, y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this whole situation, man.
this was like I said, one of the craziest videos I've seen in a long time. And again, guys, if y'all get into some situations on the train, it's best to try to avoid it as much as possible. If you can't avoid it, then you gotta do what you gotta do. But you don't stop until you know the problem is done. That's why I said you go for the knockout. Dude might wait. Dude might have a knife. Or gun, you know what I'm saying? I ain't taking those chances, bro. I'm knocking you out, putting you to sleep. And then if the cops come, it is what it is. Or you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go on my way. But it's just better to avoid the problem. Get what I'm saying? Anyway, it's your boy Dollars. I'm gonna holler him off the shit. For my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga jersey in the sky. Treat a nigga right, big dreaming all my life. Sure they wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly. Taking off on these niggas, I retire. The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high.